Now let's set up our gold pieces with some UVs and a material separation. And so let's first create a material. I've got one created here, gold. Doesn't matter what kind of material it is. I've called it gold. And let's go ahead and change the color of it to, guessed it, gold. And again, this is just temporary. And now we're gonna select the pieces that we want to be gold. So I'll select the two parts of the hinge and the hook, all of the buckle, pieces on this side. And then we can also include the necklace and the medallion here. So we'll go ahead and right click and say assign to material. We can make sure that that's assigned. That back piece is a different material, it happens to be a similar color. And so now what we want to do is create UVs for each individual piece and then place them on the same map. All right. So the medallion, we want to be a pretty prominent part of this. So I'll go ahead and let's just do an automatic map. Okay. And then this is going to be the back and this is going to be the front. So I'll concentrate my efforts a little bit more on the front. Let's go ahead and take both of these where we can see there are pieces missing and stitch them. And so there's actually, I would normally cut this off, but there's actually enough room in here to fit all of these. And so what I'm going to do is just come in, select the other ones, stitch those bits on, stitch those on, and then let me go ahead and unfold it. I can select all of these and then let me pull this away a little bit more. I'm going to select all of these edges, deselect any of the ones that are on here, go ahead and stitch those, and unfold. Now there is one little bit here, and so I'm actually going to include those here. So I'm going to take and cut all of these off. So I'll go ahead and just cut everything, and then let's select that. We'll deselect these interior edges and do another stitch. I should get everything on this front one. Unfold it again. Here we can take our edges, sew those together, unfold that. And now we have our medallion. We can check it with the checker pattern and that looks pretty good. And so I'm going to move this off. I want that to be pretty big in here. And a lot of these other pieces aren't going to need that much. And so on this one, we do another automatic map. You can see here, um, you might want to bevel that top if it's a little bit too sharp, but otherwise you can go ahead and grab these pieces. I'll select the side and think about it like a cardboard box. So we know we want to leave a little bit open. So I'm just going to work my way to the left. And then when we get to this side, this is actually the side that wraps around. So we'll want to leave that, do the same thing here. And let's bring this one in. And just like that. And now we know that there are pieces on either side as well. So we'll bring that one in, that one, that one. And now there's some stragglers here. Let's stitch that on. If you want to go ahead and stitch the ends, That'll work too. And just unfold it just like that. So I'm going to leave it like that and we'll do the other ones as well. You can see there's a couple of pieces here. This is going to go on this end and then this one right here. And then you just want to make the same deal there. Now for the necklace part, I would take several of the pieces. And when I'm doing a, a rounded or a loop like this, usually what I'll do is take the ones, because you'll get some pieces that are that on the automatic map that get strung out like this, which is more what we want. And then you'll have some that make the entire loop. I don't actually want the entire loop. And so I'm getting, going to use the straight ones as my bases. And then I'm going to cut the the um, the rounded ones. So I'm just cutting cutting them. I don't care about them at all. And so what I want to do then is get one of these bases, kind of straighten it a little bit, and then I can start to take the edges on the side, stitch those together, 
and then same thing. And I'm just going to go around until I get to the side that intersects with the other side. Okay, so now I've got the entire the entire thing. I've got one section of it basically. If you smooth this, you can see we get a nice straight line. Okay, and so then I would just do the next section. You could stitch that together. You could even um, start with one of these and just do the ones that are already straight, right, in the exact same way. And at this point, I don't know if my seams are going to match up, but it'll be really easy to fix it if they don't. Fill those in. Unfold. Nice and straight. So I'm going to just go through and start making some nice straight chunks here. As you get some that are a little bit less straight, just grab this one maybe. You can sort of straighten it manually before we start. I'm just going to grab all these, stitch that. That gives us this one, which we can straighten up. There are also some tools in our UV where we can start to try to straighten the UVs. We can straighten shell, we can straighten UVs. You can see some of them work better than others. So you want to go ahead and finish the UVs for the necklace. And then you also want to just do the UVs for the other little bits. And these cylinder pieces are going to be pretty straightforward. You can almost, I mean, they already have UVs because they're made from the cylinder. You could try to just grab the shell and unfold it and see what that looks like. And I think it, it will almost just work like that. And then you've got the, the caps because it's basically a cylinder that's had a little bit of detail added to it. And so something like that and you're done. On here, you'll have two sections basically. So let's unfold this section. And then you can check that with your checkerboard. And you can see the, the this part is not exactly what we want. And so let's shut the, turn that off. And you can take these and you can do an auto map on just a, just one part of it. So like I can tell that this is not meant to be part of that. So I'll cut that, pull this out. And I know I want to put it on this one, so I'll just cut it. So like this, stitch them together. So we're back in business. Now, if you, un if you unfold it, a lot of times if it's round like this, it'll tend to, to curve like this. So that's fine. You can do it like that if you want to. Uh, here, what we need is a seam. And so let me grab the edges up here and we'll cut those. And then the edge down at the bottom, we'll cut that. And now when we unwrap this, unfold it. See that? It's nice and efficient. All right. Let me sew this together. Now, right now, you can see the difference in the size of these. And so... We just want to make sure both pieces have the same size squares on them. So that's a little bit closer. So I'll grab that and move it off. So go in and create individual shells for each one of these. I'm going to pause the video. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you with all of them uh, done, how we can assemble them into one UV layout. All right, I've done you some UVs on all of the individual pieces. You can see I've also added a quick bevel and I actually did that after I did the UVs on the necklace. And so it added in very quickly and easily just selected those top edges and did a quick bevel. So now what I want to do is organize everything onto one map. And I'm going to go by importance. So the medallion and the necklace are two pieces that I know are going to have to have a lot of pixels assigned to them because I know we're gonna have normal maps and we wanna have a lot of detail with those. So I'm gonna put those in first and then fill in the gaps around them. So I know that the necklace, the actual necklace part of it isn't that important. And so I'm actually gonna just put those along the edges. So I can put one kind of down here and they don't have to be physically organized next to each other. You can do that um, if it makes sense for you, but I'm going to put those down on the corners. The necklace pieces, I'm actually going to scale them up a little bit just because I know that I want to have some nice detail on those. And so now we can organize those in a specific spot. So maybe we could put them over here on the left. 
Again, your layout doesn't have to be just like mine, but you do want them all within a zero to one space, which is this first quadrant. And you don't want them to overlap. I'm gonna go ahead and anything that I see that hasn't been sewed together, I'll fix that while I'm here. All right, so we're organizing everything into this square. We've now got the, the front of the belt, which this is pretty small compared to the size of the UV. So I'm going to take all these UVs and scale them down quite a bit. These are the hooks. Let's go ahead and scale those down a bit. And then here's the front of the belt. We'll scale it down in proportion. And then these are the hinges. All right, so now we can start placing things. So I think the belt part is going to be a little bit larger. So we can come in here and start adding in the belt pieces. I have organized them by you know, which part of the belt this is. We can go ahead and move it in like that. This is that square part of the belt. So I'm going to actually just move it over here, kind of like that. Let's bring in the hinge pieces. We can drop them in here. Here we've got our hooks. We can tighten those pieces up and we might even able, be able to come in and just pull this down here like this. Or you could put it on the inside as well. Sometimes when you have two pieces like this, you can rotate one of them to maximize the amount of space that they take up. If you've got like a curved piece like this, these as well, we can come in here and really maximize the space that we've got. And I'm leaving admittedly a lot of space, but I'm trying to do this quickly. The basic idea is to make sure that as much of this zero to one space is covered as possible without distortion, without overlap, things like that. And then we can grab these gold pieces, bring them in here. We have more room on this side, so maybe rotate it, size it up a little bit. Okay, we just want to make sure we don't have anything touching the edge. Once we have that, we can come in and if you need to modify the position of any of these, you can. But now we're ready for Substance Painter with our gold pieces. They're assigned to one material and they share a single UV map. All right, so now with those selected, I'm going to go ahead and hide those so we can start to work on some of the other pieces. So next, let's go ahead and look at the body. So I've gone ahead and I still don't have the body mirrored over. And so we'll do this, some of the UVs on it. We'll create the mirrored version of it and complete the body geometry. So we'll go ahead and do that next.